Hey everybody, if you want to see how I decorate the outside of my house for Christmas with the candy cane theme, keep watching. I started to put my white icicle lights on my house and just as I got started on that I got the idea that I should put some red and white lights instead for the candy cane theme like duh I don't know why I didn't think about it sooner <laughs> so I went out and got these lights and put them on instead With these pool noodles that I got from Dollar Tree, I'm going to take some white duct tape, some cellophane wrap, and some bows, and I'm going to make some large peppermint ornaments with them. If you're new to my channel, then welcome. My videos are all about home decorations, home improvements, and crafting all on a low budget because I'm a single mom. Most of my projects are things that I do around my own house and all my videos are recorded during like real time. So yeah, sorry for those people out there, but I am not the one that's going to decorate for the holidays three and four months in advance. I'm sorry, that's a bit much for me. But even though I have a hectic schedule, I do try to come up with some unique ideas for you to enjoy. So if you're new to my channel, show your girls some support and go ahead and subscribe. All right, let's get back to this video. Some years ago I was given these candy canes that are on the right and then I went to Target to buy some more that look just like it. I kind of didn't just want to make a candy cane pathway because everyone does that. I wanted to try something different. So I'm going to nail these candy canes to my doorway and connect them with a zip tie and make like a candy cane archway. And if you haven't already watched my rose gold Christmas decorations that I did last year, I'm going to put the link on the top right hand corner of this video. You definitely want to check that out. I still had a bunch of candy canes left so I just kind of gave into the idea and I just went on ahead and made a candy cane pathway. I use this rectangle white table cover from Dollar Tree to cover my yellow door. Sometimes with my outside decor, my yellow door doesn't really go with the theme. So I've been doing this for years where I would just get a table cover that matches whatever color scheme that I'm going for and I just cover my door. So in this case, this year I'm making it white. Before it got dark, I cleaned off my porch and dusted off my bench and I added a few front porch accessories. Nothing too much, just a pillow and a beautiful poinsettia that a co-worker gave me at work. A couple of years ago I took some chicken wire and I made five of these wire balls. I made them in different sizes. I have three small ones and two large ones and I'm going to use these lights that I got from Walmart. Um, both red and white because candy cane is going to be my theme. 
And of course, you definitely got to make sure that the lights work before you put them on the balls. Now I'm starting off with the female part. I'm just going to tuck it on the inside of the ball and just wrap it around. And you got to be sure to wrap the lights on top of each other so that they'll be more likely to stay in place. And when I finished my first strand of lights, then I connected the second strand and just continued to wrap it until I covered all the places. Now these balls, you can use as many lights as you want, the more the merrier, but I just like to just use at least two lights. It seems to do the job just fine for me. And then I just take a zip tie and I secure it in about one or two places to make sure the lights stay on. Instead, if you don't have a zip tie, you could also use the little sandwich bag ties that come with the lights and just twist it around like this. You run into a situation like this where half of the strand of lights works and the other half doesn't. Yeah, you could definitely take the time and try to fix the lights and stuff, but if you're anything like me, I'm too lazy for all that and I ain't got time for it. <laughs> so I tend to take these kind of lights and use them on my light balls instead and save all my good lights for everything else. And when I do this, I like to plug them up so I can see which lights don't work and those are the ones that I could keep in one place and wrap the working lights around the rest of the ball. I like to put my light bulbs out at night so that way I could figure out the best place to place them. And I could also hang these balls in the tree. I've done that before. But this year I think I'm going to keep it simple and I'm just going to put them on the ground. They still look just as good on the ground as they do in the tree. The last thing I did was I added a string of white lights on the inside of my porch to brighten it up. I'm tired. Okay, well, like I said, I was gonna keep it simple and easy. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this video and then hopefully I inspired you for decorating your house this Christmas. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and ring the bell for future notifications. See you guys next time.